Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. I'm going to show you how to format any hard drive in Windows 10 and 11. And technically, you can probably do this 8, 7, probably going back to XP. So I have a problem with this. I have to explain to you a few things before I show you how to format a drive. And there's a good reason for this. I get people all the time asking what to do with an old computer or an old hard drive. One of the things you can do if you're selling it is get reset this PC and look for the link to this page in the video description. And there's a video to walk you through. It's really easy to do how to reset your PC. And you want to get rid of everything. Once that's all gone, download Sequin or Portable. And you want to do seven passes, which you can find under settings. And under settings right here, you can see secure deletion. And click on complex overwrite seven passes. That should cover you. 35 is overkill and will take a while. Second question I get all the time, will this work on a SSD, NVMe, or another type of drive? So the most common two types of drive will be serial ATA or SSD. And yes, Windows and most applications don't really see or care what kind of drive it is. They just see a hard drive. So when you overwrite or you use CCleaner, it doesn't care. It will do what you need it to do. If you need to recover files, it's the same thing. Recovery apps don't care if it's a serial ATA or SSD. They just know it's a hard drive and do what they're supposed to do. Hopefully that answers some questions. I get those questions quite a bit. Woo. All right, let's have some fun. Really easy to do. And once again, if you're about to install Linux or Windows, Windows apps will automatically format your drive for you. And the same with Ventoy and Rufus. They will recommend what to do with it. And those are great to use if you want to use Linux or something similar to that. But if you just want to clean your drive and empty everything off of it quick and easy, it is quick and easy. We're going to open File Explorer. And you're going to select your drive. In this case, I'm going to use a plugged-in thumb drive or flash drive. I wouldn't want to down. You don't want to delete your C drive. Right-click. Click on Format. Now you're going to see a bunch of stuff here. And most of it you don't change. I've broken it down right here. You can see at the bottom. Capacity, which isn't going to change. That's the size of the drive after you're done formatting it. The file system. Default is XFAT. That means it can be read on a Mac, but I'm in NTFS. Allocation unit size. You can do default. And you can always restore a device. Watch this. There it is. Default. Default. As you can see. So... That's an option as well. Now, if you're wondering, I don't know what to do with it. If you're just going to wipe the drive out, don't worry about any of it. Otherwise, click Restore Device Defaults. This is the volume label, so let's call it Major Geeks. And what that means is the name that you see right here will be Major Geeks when I'm done. Last option, Quick Format or Not. A full format will take a little bit longer, and it will write over the drive a couple of times for you and may do the job for you. In this case, for the interest of time and being in a, we're in a video, I'm going to do the quick format because it doesn't take long. You will get the warning after clicking start that you're going to lose everything on the drive. Click OK, and it's very, very fast. Even on a slow computer, it's fast. So if you uncheck that and go long, it'll take a while. Let's close that. And as you can see, it's called Major Geeks now, and the folder is empty. So it's actually... It's super easy to do, but there's all these things in there that you don't need to worry about when you get to everything I just showed you. Clicking Restore Defaults can help. And again, if you do go to Rufus or Ventoy or Windows to burn a DVD or an ISO, sorry, ISO to your thumb drive, flash drive, it's going to do it all for you. Piece of cake. So that's just a really simple, basic way how to format a hard drive in Windows and more importantly, why you probably don't need to most of the time. Back in the day... Oh, man, we did it all the time. I haven't formatted the drive in a long time. I just let whatever app I'm using do it. So, And I will mention to you this. If you did want to delete everything on a drive, let me get that back up here. You can, well, a drive's empty now. But if you use Control-A, you see how that highlights everything here? So if you did that on your external drive and did Control-A, everything will highlight. You can click Delete. But as you just saw, you can format it in just seconds. So either or. And there you have it, how to format any hard drive in Windows 10, 11, and something else. In the bottom right-hand corner, you can click subscribe. You know we appreciate it. Uh, give us a like if we helped you out. Thanks for watching, as always. 
See ya.